Yo, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing something a little bit different that I've never done before. I'm gonna be taking you guys to the streets of Vancouver. I'm gonna strap on my GoPro on my chest. Point of view, what it is like downtown Vancouver. Today, it's actually a beautiful sunny day. So we are gonna see some gorgeous sights. I'm gonna get some coffee, some food. We're gonna walk around. So if you have never been to Vancouver and you are interested in moving here or just curious what the city is all about, stay tuned because you guys are gonna see all of downtown. But before we get started, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of my videos. On my channel, I particularly do lots of bartending videos and I am starting to do lots of point of view videos. So if you like either of those, you're gonna wanna come back. Okay, let's go. All right, Zuko, you ready to go for a walk? All right, let's go. All right, you guys, so first on the tour, we are leaving my apartment. I live right in between Yale Town and the West End. Really dope location, super busy. First, we're gonna take a left up Davy Street, which is full of restaurants, flower stores, really cool boutique stores of all kinds. It is also the gay district of Vancouver. So if you're looking to find some colorful people to party with, Davy Street is your spot. If you are a big coffee lover like myself, there are a ton of Starbucks all over the city. It's the main variety, of course, but there are also another like five or six really good coffee chains all over the city. So you will find any kind of coffee that you like. Continuing up Davy Street, today is a really sunny day, so people are out and like hustling and bustling, getting their stuff done. It's honestly a lot of fun out in this part of Vancouver. People are just out and about. There's people playing music, sweet little parks that a lot of people hang out in. Yeah, it's a really great spot in Vancouver to live. Continuing at the end of Davy Street, we are gonna come out to English Bay very soon here. And this right here is English Bay, an awesome beach that we have just connected to the city. They hold parties down here, fireworks when it's time for celebration season. It's honestly just a really great time hanging out down here and feeling the vibes. We got palm trees, which is really kind of interesting because it gets cold here in Vancouver. Next up, we're gonna continue down Denman Street Denman Street is just full of markets, restaurants, boutiques, mainly just foods of all kinds. Busy day, always down Denman Street because people are just feeling their vibes, getting their food, and at the end of the street, it's gonna lead us out to the Stanley Park area and Coal Harbor. Vancouver also has a super wicked mural scene. Right outside downtown, there are many areas of places that are just filled with amazing murals and paintwork. Mm -hmm. 
Vancouver's transit is also pretty good. There are new SkyTrain stations being built every year and it's becoming pretty easy to get around with trains, buses and water taxis. I'm actually getting pretty hungry right now, so we are gonna pop into this really cool Korean hot dog place that I have never been into before. I have seen people eating these like all over Instagram and Facebook and they just look amazing. So today is the day I am gonna try them out. This place is actually really cool. You can choose all of your own sauces that go on top of the hot dog that you pick. And I chose teriyaki, sweet chili, and some spicy Korean mayo. Oh my God, that looks so good. Let's try it out. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Honestly, you guys, this was a, such a good hot dog. I had to take a picture. Best hot dog of my life, for sure. <laughs> So next up, we are going to turn up Robson Street. We are right at the bottom of Robson where we have Little Korean Town, it is called. And there are tons of Korean restaurants. There are Korean markets and shops. It's a really cool vibe if you are into that kind of culture. Robson Street is also probably the busiest street in downtown Vancouver. Again, full of shops, restaurants. There are a lot of clothing stores on Robson Street as well. Cannabis through the roof. So out here in BC, smoking marijuana is legal. So if you like to do that, come to Canada, especially Vancouver, because the marijuana culture here is through the roof. So everything you can find along Robson Street, it's so much fun. If you are traveling to Vancouver, hit it up. Good times all around. Next up, we are gonna take this path that is gonna lead us right into Coal Harbor. This area is all business district, as well as a ton of luxury apartments, condos, penthouses. I've honestly been into one penthouse in this area and it was beautiful. There is a lot of money of people living in this area, tons of money being spent. It's a very, very developed area and it's got the harbor here, which is beautiful. If you are a ocean loving person or you just like ocean views, Coal Harbor is a great place to go or live. Hitting the Coal Harbor boardwalk on a day like today is an absolute must. You have the city there, the park, the fresh air, the trees, all the people around is just a really, really good time. Up these stairs, it's going to lead you up to the restaurant and business district of Coal Harbor. There are a ton of restaurants, there's ice cream, lots of good things around that will keep you entertained. There is also the conference center and also some really nice luxury hotels to stay in if you are traveling. Next up is going to be Granville Street. Granville Street is iconic in Vancouver, one of the busiest streets for sure. You're going to find everything that you could possibly look for. There is a busy SkyTrain station, there are shops, there are boutique stores, there's coffee, there's food. There's a different kind of culture. The further up you go, it goes from like grungy reggae to posh. You'll see everything. Right here is actually the largest Starbucks in Vancouver, and it could be the largest Starbucks in Canada, potentially. This is called the Starbucks Reserve, and it's about 10,000 square feet of luxury coffee. 
For someone like me, it is absolute heaven. It's comfortable seating, it's a good vibe, good lighting, great place to do your work, and very impressive. And the coffee of all is absolutely amazing. I have only tried this coffee a few times before, but I had to stumble in here for this video just to show you guys, and it reminded me how good their reserve coffee truly is. So if you are a coffee lover, even if you're not a coffee lover, just come into this Starbucks Reserve and try their coffee. The further up Granville Street you go is where you're gonna to start to find all the funky little restaurants. There are Mexican, there are ethnicities of many kinds, Irish pubs, it's really a cool spot to come to Vancouver. If you're into the more local, funky kind of vibe, Granville Street is gonna be a great place for you to go. Right here to the right is the Granville Street Skytrain Station where millions of people pass through every day for work, party, travel, everything. It's such a good time being in this part of Vancouver. This is the heart of Vancouver, by the way, where all of the magic happens where you truly get the raw authentic vancouver vibe you see it all this is where i'm going to stop the tour for today i want to thank you guys so much for coming on back and watching a point of view video with me touring the streets of vancouver i'm stoked i got to show you guys around where i live I hope this inspires a lot of you to come visit and potentially move here. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys once again. Peace.